Hi, we are here live with Steven Emerson, the executive producer of uh, Jihad in America, The Great Deception. So Steven, tell us about uh, your film and uh, what's the subject matter of the film? The, the essence of the film is to show the American public or the world or the viewer what goes on behind closed doors in the United States uh, with radical Islamic groups who pretend to be moderate, who pretend to be civil rights groups, who pretend to be social welfare groups, when in fact they have an ulterior agenda of promoting terrorism. Um, and I, I think the reason we called it the grand deception is because of the way they've deceived the American public, law enforcement, the CIA, the White House, the media, Hollywood. And uh, we don't go on the basis of polemics. We use real undercover video that we've shot over the course of a period of five years of sending in people undercover, Muslims and non-Muslims, uh, to see and video what they say behind closed doors, juxtaposed against what they say publicly to the New York Times or to the regular television networks. So, certainly a delicate subject uh, deep down, you know, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've been doing this for years covering this and the other issue of course is to empower and to and to give a venue to genuine moderates who really reflect a moderate point of a view of Islam who aren't given the empowerment that they deserve because they are uh, basically uh, vilified by these radical groups who don't want their stage taken away from them and look, it, it, it's a precarious uh, profession I, I've had um, death threats and even worse. I, I can imagine, that's, that's pretty scary. <laughs> well, you know, it goes with the turf. Um, um, and uh, I used to be in journalism, and, and this is a quasi form of journalism. Um, but again, I wanted to make sure the film was not polemical. Um, and I wanted to make sure that it wasn't perceived to have an ulterior agenda. I wanted to let the film speak for itself. And I think that's why it's so effective, because of who's in it, from FBI people, from Muslims, uh, a Muslim for, for, the, for the first time who renounces his membership from the Muslim Brotherhood on camera, which is unprecedented. Um, and um, I, I think that the viewer will be shocked as, as they have been in, in the viewings we've shown around the country. I mean, five years of work, that's just incredible. So I can imagine it would have taken a long time to do a some sort of film like this, absolutely. We had a, we had a great crew, very dedicated. Um, and I must tell you, I, I'm indebted to the, to the, to the, the people who spoke on camera, to the Muslims who spoke on camera for the first time, because they really took their life into their hands. And, and you know, I, I, my issue is, is getting the truth out. And everyone will, you know, that's a noble cause for anybody who's in journalism. But, but again, um, the truth can be distorted in many different ways. Um, and, and that's why I focus so much on doing undercover video um, so that people can see exactly what goes on without any interpretation uh, or uh, summary by a third party. Um, and that, I think that's the essence of a good documentary. Absolutely, and uh, I can definitely say this means a lot to you. We have so much dedication to this project. Uh, I think having it, do you think having it here at the New York City International Film Festival is probably one of the best venues to have it? I'm very grateful that, that uh, for your film festival director who, who actually created this film festival in order to ensure that people were not going to be afraid to come to New York as a result of 9-11 and the other potential bombings that took place here. So, so we're grateful to your film director uh, and we're grateful to the film festival for hosting us um, and um, we, we're hoping uh, that we, we, we get a good finish. We're very honored to have been nominated as one of the final selectees and, and that for me is, is, is good enough at this point. Couldn't agree more, but Stephen, thank you so much.